Hello everyone, in this lecture we will discuss about the circular linked list. Before going to the circular linked list, you need to uh, learn more about this linear linked list and try to find out uh, the complexity of various operations in the linear linked list. So suppose you are going to traverse. So what is the complexity of the traverse? You see these, these statements. So P equals to start is one statement. While P is not null, you are going to write the information of the p node and p equals to p dot next. So these are the two statements inside the loop and let's say if the uh, linked list has n nodes, the loop iterates n times. So on each iteration you need to perform n operations and there is separate operation one, one separate operation p equals to start here. So 2n plus 1 operations are carried out. It means the time complexity of uh, this operation is theta n. Why we are saying theta n? Because this is fixed. <clears throat> okay, it is not conditional. If there are n nodes, <clears throat> two n plus one statements will be executed. So theta n is the time complexity. Now, what will be the space complexity of this operation? How much extra space you took from your side? Only a p pointer. The linked list is already given to you. You are taking only this p pointer. So only one extra space is required. So in that case, you can say that theta 1 is the space complexity of this algorithm. So time complexity was theta n and the space complexity is theta 1. Now after this, let's see this insert beginning. In the insert beginning operation, 1, 2, 3, 4 statements, the fixed number of the statements. So 4 statements are going to be executed. So the time complexity of this operation will be theta 1 that is constant. So constant time complexity of insert beginning operation. And what about the space? How much extra space you took from your side? Start is given, x is given. So other than this, what you are using? You are using a p. Okay. So p is the only thing that you are using from your side. That is why only one variable. So the space complexity of this algorithm will also be constant. That is theta 1. So a space complexity of this algorithm is theta 1. Okay. Now let's see the other algorithms. For example, insert after operation. In the insert, oper insert after operation, if p is not null, then q equals to get node, q dot info equals to x, and q dot next equals to p dot next, p dot next equals to q. So 1, 2, 3, 4 statements. In case the p is not null, if you include the in, include this p also p condition also as a statement, so there are five statements which is required to be executed in in case the condition is true. So five statements when the condition is true, and if the condition is false, one for this check and another one is right wide insertion. So two statements. So either five statement or two statement. This can also be considered constant. So the time complexity of insert after operation is theta one. And what about the space? P is given, X is given. From your side, what you are taking? You are taking only Q. Rest of the thing is already given here in this uh, as the parameter. So only one variable is required here. So the space complexity of this algorithm will also be theta 1. Fine. Now let's say the insert end operation. The insert end operation, start is given, X is given. You're taking a p from your side. You see the you see every uh, statement of this linked list. You're taking q also from your side. So in the entire code, in the entire uh, algorithm, you're taking p and q as a extra variable. Rest everything is given already there as a parameter to the function. So you're taking two variables. So the space complexity of this algorithm will be theta one. Let us analyze the time. So uh, the time complexity, you just forget about this if a start is null. Let's say you're doing this one, this operation. So p equals to start is one other statement. And then after this, while p dot next is not null, p equals to p dot next. It means you need to iterate this loop and this loop will be iterated n times. In fact, n minus one time, even if you take n doesn't matter. Let's say this is uh, n minus one time. You start with the first node and you reach to the last node. 
okay if you cross the last node then it will be n if you remain with the last node it will be n minus 1 after this one statement two statement three statement and four statement so these are the number of statement those are required to be executed so this is n plus 4 okay n plus 4 statements now if a start is null you need to do the insert beginning operation we have already seen that if insert beginning is called it requires theta 1 space and theta 1 time okay so let's say this condition does not uh, it, this condition is not true only the condition is false if the condition is false then n plus 4 statements are required to be executed in fact uh, if you are uh, including this condition also as a statement one more statement will increase so n plus 5 statements are executed so n plus 5 can be theta n so this is the number of a statement which is required to be executed for the insert end operation so the time complexity of this operation is theta n now let's see about the deletion operations let's say we are doing the delete beginning so if you are doing the delete beginning then one is this statement i'll include the condition next one is p equals to start start equals to p dot next x equals to p dot info free note and return x so one two three four five statements and now the condition if a start is not null then only we are doing this so one more statement so there are six statements which are getting executed in case the condition is not true you will just print this information this message so one is the condition and another one is this printing of this statement so there are two statement which is required to be executed so the time complexity of delete beginning operation is theta 1 so either six statement or two statements so the time complexity is theta 1 the constant number of statements what about the space complexity what uh, information you took from your side or what uh, extra space you took from your side one is this p and another one is this x variable so the two statements uh, sorry two uh, extra variables you took from your side hence the space complexity of this algorithm will also be theta 1 constant space and constant time what about the uh, delete after operation let's see the delete after this is the delete after, after operation forget about the condition let's say the condition is true one is this one this one this one this one and this one so five statements are getting executed if you include this condition so five plus one six statements so for the insert after operation six statements are getting executed in case the condition is false then you will come to this line so one is this one is this two statements so either six statement or two statements will get executed so the time complexity is theta one and what about the space p is already given q to you took from your side and x you took from your side so two extra variables so the space complexity is also theta one so time is theta one and space is also theta one now you see this one delete end operation in the delete end operation one is this statement one is this statement forget about this if condition come to this loop so while p dot next is not null you are traversing the linked list <coughs> and there are two statements inside the while loop so the loop iterates n minus one times because you have to stop at the last node so it will be executed n minus one times so two statements are executed inside this loop so two into n minus one number of statements okay now forget about this condition what you're doing one two three and four statements two statements are these two so add these two also and then the loop and then the statements written below so 2 plus 2n minus 2 plus 4 so these two two cancels out this is 2n plus 4 so if you include only this the delete end operation requires theta n time complexity okay if you include the conditions then the number of statement will certainly reduce if a start is equals to null then you are saying that the deletion is not possible otherwise you are doing these operations so if a start is null you are doing nothing if it is not null then you are doing this one okay fine so the theta n is the time complexity and what about the space what extra variables you took from your side 
a q p and x so these are the three variables you took from your side so space complexity of this algorithm is theta 1 time is theta n and the space is theta 1 okay thank you